please fasten your seatbelt and sit in the correct position. We're about to take a trip through the ups and downs of fame. From penthouses to sidewalks, these celebrities go from riches to rags faster than you can say lights, cameras, disaster. Get ready for a wild ride with celebrity who lost everything. Welcome back to Hourglass. Bill Cosby, once hailed as America's beloved father figure, suffered a monumental downfall that reverberated across the entertainment industry. Known for his endearing roles in iconic comedy and drama series, Cosby's reputation took a nosedive in 2018 amidst the deluge of accusations from over 60 women detailing instances of assault. Despite vehement denials from Cosby's legal team, damning evidence surfaced, indicating his use of sedatives in pursuit of illicit encounters. The repercussions were swift and severe. Networks swiftly pulled reruns of The Cosby Show, and his once flourishing stand-up career came to an abrupt halt. His statue, once proudly displayed, was unceremoniously removed, and prestigious colleges rescinded the honorary degrees they had bestowed upon him. Following a highly publicized trial, Cosby was convicted on three counts of aggravated assault and sentenced to three to ten years behind bars. However, a legal technicality eventually led to his early release after serving just two years. Despite legal nuances, the court of public opinion remains unequivocally damning. Industry insiders are skeptical about Cosby's chances of staging a comeback. Howard Bragman, a seasoned PR guru, likened Cosby's situation to that of O. J. Simpson, incense of the enduring stain on his reputation. In the wake of his downfall, Cosby's once glittering career serves as a stark reminder of the consequences of abusing power and the enduring impact of public perception. Despite legal twists, the entertainment industry remains hesitant to associate with him, recognizing the profound damage his tarnished reputation could inflict. Felicity Huffman's role in the largest college admission scandal in national history had ripple effects beyond her personal life, extending to her professional endeavors. The decision to postpone the release of the romantic comedy film Otherhood, in which Huffman starred alongside Patricia Arquette and Angela Bassett, was a direct response to her involvement in the scandal. However, it's worth noting that Netflix opted to delay the film's release rather than cancel it altogether. The eventual release later that year came after Huffman's public apology and her admission of guilt, pleading guilty to fraud related to the college admission scam. Huffman was among the 13 individuals who confessed to paying bribes to secure coveted spots for their children in prestigious colleges. In her statement expressing remorse, Huffman accepted full responsibility for her actions and expressed deep regret and shame for her involvement. Despite serving a relatively short 11-day federal prison sentence, she also faced a substantial $330,000 fine, a year of supervised release, and 250 hours of community service. Furthermore, Huffman's conviction as a felon resulted in the loss of what is colloquially known in Hollywood as reputational capital. This status is expected to diminish her opportunities and potentially lower her income in future projects, underlining the profound repercussions of her role in the college admission scandal. Don't rush to escape this boring video and forget comment number two. I will change it if I know you hate it. Kat Dennings has always been a shining star on the screen, captivating audiences since her teenage years. Best known for her role as the sharp-witted Max Black in CBSE's hit show Two Broke Girls, Dennings quickly became a household name, winning hearts with her humor and charm throughout the series' successful six-year run. While her on-screen presence was undeniably powerful, Dennings' personal life also kept her in the spotlight, especially her relationship with musician Josh Groban. However, after this period of tremendous success, Dennings seemed to take a step back from the glitz and glam of Hollywood. Several factors contributed to Dennings' reduced visibility. Firstly, her role in Two Broke Girls not only brought her financial success, 
but also secured her a share of the show's profits from syndication deals, ensuring a steady stream of income even as she took a break from new projects. Additionally, Denning's involvement in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, particularly as Darcy Lewis in the Thor films, added to her star power. However, her character's absence in subsequent MCU films hinted at a possible conclusion to her storyline in the franchise. Furthermore, Dennings experienced a public breakup with Groban just before the final season of Two Broke Girls. While the split was amicable, personal events like these can inevitably impact an actor's career trajectory. Looking ahead, Dennings may be on the brink of a comeback with the Hulu pilot Dollface. The show explores themes of resilience and new beginnings, with Dennings portraying a woman navigating life after a significant breakup. With promising production and an engaging storyline, Dollface could mark Dennings' triumphant return to the small screen, showcasing her talent and versatility once again. Don't forget to drink a cup of tea to quench your thirst and comment number one to let me know that you are still watching this video. Katherine Hagel, Rees to fame in Hollywood, was rapid, fueled by her standout performances in Grey's Anatomy and Knocked Up. However, her journey was not without difficulties. In 2007, just two years after joining Grey's Anatomy, Hagel made headlines when he landed the lead role in Knocked Up and received a significant raise. However, despite her success, she shocked fans and colleagues alike when she withdrew from Emmy contention citing a lack of material worthy of her character in the fourth season of the program. Her decision was seen as a bit of a disservice to the show's creator, Shonda Rhimes, and sparked tension on set. Reports of conflict and diva behavior that followed tarnished Heil's reputation in the industry. Despite rumors of her character's death, she signed on for another season, but then failed to show up for work. Rhimes eventually released her from her contract, emphasizing the importance of integrity. Heigl's career struggled to regain momentum after leaving Grey's Anatomy. Films such as New Year's Eve, One for the Money and The Big Wedding failed to impress both critics and audiences, causing her career to decline. Heigl expressed her feelings of betrayal by the industry that once embraced her, highlighting the fickle fortunes of Hollywood. Amanda Bynes, once a rising star in entertainment, faced the challenges common to many child stars as she navigated her career. Despite her early success on The Amanda Show and in films like She's the Man, Bynes encountered personal struggles with drugs and alcohol. However, it was her highly publicized Twitter outburst in 2012 that thrust her into the spotlight for all the wrong reasons. During this turbulent time, Binus made a series of controversial and erratic claims on Twitter, including expressing alarming desires involving other celebrities. She also engaged in destructive behavior, such as setting fire to a driveway in her own clothing. In the aftermath of these incidents, Binus was diagnosed with bipolar disorder and voluntarily entered a psychiatric facility for treatment. Concerned for their daughter's well-being, Binus' parents sought and were granted a conservatorship in 2013 allowing them to oversee her medical care and finances. Following a hiatus from the public eye to focus on her mental health, Binus enrolled at the Los Angeles Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising, indicating a shift away from acting. In 2022, signs of improvement in her life led to a judge, supported by her parents, determining that she was capable of making her own decisions, and the conservatorship was lifted. However, later that same year, Binus reached out to the police for psychiatric care, indicating ongoing challenges in her mental health journey. Currently, she resides in an inpatient mental health facility, receiving the support necessary to continue her path towards recovery and stability. Robert Downey Jr.'s journey is a testament to the indomitable human spirit 
a tale of redemption woven through the tapestry of fame and addiction. From a young age, he grappled with the shadows cast by his father's own battles with demons, finding solace in the numbing embrace of substance abuse. Despite his prodigious talent, Downey's ascent in Hollywood was marred by a tumultuous dance with addiction, his mugshots becoming a haunting refrain in the tabloids. Yet, in the depths of despair, Downey found a glimmer of hope, a flicker of light amidst the darkness. Summoning the courage to confront his demons head-on, he made the courageous choice to enter rehab armed with nothing but determination and a fervent desire for a better tomorrow. It was a journey fraught with pitfalls and setbacks, a road less traveled marked by the scars of past mistakes. But through sheer resilience and an ununwavering commitment to self-improvement, Downey emerged from the crucible of his struggles, his spirit unbroken and his resolve unwavering. With each step forward, he pieced together the fragments of his shattered life, rebuilding not only his career but also his tarnished reputation. Angelina Jolie's journey is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. Battling severe depression and struggling with self-harm as a young woman, she found solace in drugs as a form of self-medication. But when her destructive habits threatened to destroy her, she realized she needed to chart a new course. With iron determination, Jolie embarked on a journey of self-discovery and healing. She reclaimed her life, not only emerging as a talented actress, but also directing her energy into philanthropy. Her humanitarian efforts, including adopting children from disadvantaged backgrounds, are a testament to her compassion and commitment. Today, Jolie wears many hats from famous actress to devoted wife and mother. But most of all, she is a beacon of hope and inspiration, showing that even in the darkest of times, redemption and transformation are possible. Her story serves as a reminder that adversity can be overcome and that each of us has the power to shape our own destiny and make a difference in the lives of others. Don't hesitate to leave a comment. If the video you're watching is interesting, comment number one and otherwise number two. Robin Williams was a comedic genius, capable of bringing laughter to any role he touched, even if it meant donning a dress and wig to play an elderly woman. Yet, behind the laughter, Williams grappled with personal demons. For nearly a decade, he battled a cocaine addiction, a struggle compounded by the tragic loss of his friend John Belushi to a drug overdose. It wasn't until the birth of his son that Williams found the strength to confront his addiction head-on. He entered rehab, determined to turn his life around. Williams didn't just address his cocaine dependency, he also tackled his struggles with alcoholism. With unwavering resolve, he committed himself to sobriety and threw himself into his craft, channeling his energy into his acting career. Despite his triumphs, Williams faced a silent enemy depression. Despite seeking treatment and support, he ultimately succumbed to its grip, tragically taking his own life. His legacy lives on through the laughter he brought to millions and the impact he made both on and off the screen. Though he may have lost his battle with depression, his memory continues to shine brightly in the hearts of those who loved him. Mel Gibson, once a Hollywood star of considerable stature, faced a tumultuous period in his career marked by a series of controversies and damaging remarks. These incidents, including allegations of anti-Semitic behavior and abusive remarks, led to a significant downturn in his standing within the entertainment industry. The fallout began when actress Winona Ryder disclosed an encounter in 1995, where Gibson made derogatory comments toward her, shedding light on his history of offensive remarks. Subsequently, Gitlingly Gibson's involvement in projects faced scrutiny, with the sequel to Netflix's Chicken Run notably distancing itself from the actor. In 2010, further damaging revelations emerged when audio recordings of Gibson's heated voicemails to his ex-partner Russian pianist Oksana Grigorieva surfaced, adding fuel to the fire. This controversy prompted his talent agency to sever ties with him, 
dealing a substantial blow to his career prospects. Despite attempts at redemption, such as his directorial effort with the biographical war film Hacksaw Ridge in 2016, Gibson continued to grapple with the fallout from his past actions. Reports surfaced of him downplaying the Holocaust during an interview, further tarnishing his reputation and bringing his troubled history back into public discourse. Don't hesitate to leave a comment. If the video you're watching is interesting, comment number one and otherwise number two. Lori Laughlin, once an beloved star of Full House, found herself at the center of a scandal that rocked her career and personal life. Alongside her husband Massimo Giannulli, she became entangled in a college admission scam, a decision driven by their desire to secure spots for their daughters at the University of Southern California. Their involvement in the fraudulent scheme, which falsely portrayed their daughters as athletic recruits, led to legal repercussions. Laughlin faced a two-month prison sentence, a $150,000 fine, and 100 hours of community service, while Giannoli received a heftier penalty. In a public statement, Laughlin expressed remorse, admitting to making a grave mistake by ignoring her moral compass. She acknowledged the unfair advantage they sought to give their daughters and the consequences of their actions. The fallout from the scandal was swift and severe. Crown Media Family Networks, which aired projects featuring Laughlin, promptly cut ties with the actress, halting all productions involving her. Additionally, their daughter Olivia Jade, a social media influencer, faced backlash and lost lucrative business deals with major brands like Sephora and Estelle Lauder. In a surprising turn of events, Olivia Jade publicly blamed her parents for the damage to her career, highlighting the familial rift caused by their actions. The incident served as a stark reminder of the far-reaching repercussions of unethical behavior and its profound impact on both personal and professional lives. Oprah Winfrey stands as a towering figure of empowerment and resilience, but her journey to greatness was marked by personal struggles. In her early years, she found herself entangled in a toxic relationship, where she smoked cocaine with a boyfriend she felt deeply attached to. Reflecting on those dark times, Oprah acknowledges that her addiction wasn't just to the drug, but to the man himself. Yet, Oprah's story is one of triumph over adversity. With courage and determination, she broke free from the grips of addiction and the toxic relationship that ensnared her. Through sheer strength of will, she emerged from the shadows, transforming herself into one of the most influential and admired figures in the world. Today, Oprah Brave Roper name is synonymous with success and generosity. She uses her platform to uplift and inspire others, demonstrating remarkable resilience in the face of adversity. By bravely sharing her own story of overcoming hardship, Oprah empowers countless others to find their own strength and resilience. She serves as a beacon of hope, proving that no matter how dark the past may seem, there is always light on the horizon for those who dare to seek it. Don't forget to drink a cup of tea to quench your thirst and comment number one to let me know that you are still watching this video. Samuel Leroy Jackson's journey to stardom was marked by the darkness of addiction that haunted his childhood. As his father was battling alcoholism, Jackson found himself facing a similar struggle. In the early days of his career, he drowned his sorrows in alcohol and cocaine, jeopardizing his relationships and future. But when faced with the prospect of losing his family, Jackson made an important choice to reclaim his life from the clutches of addiction. With iron determination, he began his journey to sobriety, determined to rewrite his story. His commitment was rewarded with his breakthrough role in Jungle Fever, which marked a turning point in his career. From there, Jackson soared to new heights, becoming the main character in blockbuster movies and receiving many compliments for his unparalleled talent. If Jackson hadn't confronted his demons, the silver screen would no longer have his electrifying presence. 
From D. Django Unchained to The Avengers, Jackson's contributions to cinema are immeasurable, proving that with resilience and determination, even the darkest past can create a future bright. Michael Richards, famously known as Kramer from the iconic sitcom Seinfeld, experienced a rapid and devastating downfall that sent shockwaves through the entertainment world. Despite his acclaimed portrayal of the eccentric Cosmo Kramer, Richards faced a monumental setback that ultimately derailed his career. While his Seinfeld co-stars found success in their post-Seinfeld endeavors, Richards attempted to revive his career through stand-up comedy, hoping to capitalize on the show's immense popularity. However, his aspirations came crashing down when a video emerged, capturing him unleashing a tirade of racial slurs directed at a black audience member during a live performance. In a mere three minutes, Richard's career imploded as he uttered deeply offensive remarks and made explicit references to racial violence. Despite issuing a public apology and making efforts to reconcile with his fan base through appearances on late night shows, including The Late Show with David Letterman, Richard struggled to repair the irreparable damage. In an attempt at damage control, Richards extended his apologies to prominent black figures such as Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson, but the stain on his reputation persisted. Despite sporadic TV appearances and cameo roles, Richards never fully recovered from the fallout of his shocking outburst, serving as a stark reminder of the consequences of reckless behavior in the spotlight. Monique Angela Hicks, celebrated for her Oscar-winning performance in the 2009 film Precious, seemed destined for a bright future in Hollyhill. However, her trajectory took an unexpected turn following her momentous win, leading to a five-year hiatus from significant roles. Her return to the spotlight came in 2014 with the independent film Blackbird, co-starring Isaiah Washington, yet it failed to reignite her career momentum. In a candid 2015 interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Monique revealed that director Lee Daniels had informed her of being blacklisted due to her husband's aggressive salary negotiation tactics. Monique publicly accused Daniels of orchestrating her professional downfall, citing her gratitude towards him during her Oscar acceptance speech as a catalyst. However, these revelations only exacerbated tensions in Hollywood especially after her subsequent clashes with Tyler Perry and Oprah Winfrey, whom she accused of collusion. In 2018, Monique made headlines again by accusing Netflix of discrimination after being offered a mere $500,000 for her comedy special, significantly less than other comedians received. Despite settling a lawsuit with Netflix, she remained steadfast in her position, asserting that accepting such a low offer would compromise her principles. Speaking on Sway in the Morning, Monique stood by her decision, highlighting the disparity in offers compared to her peers like Tiffany Haddish. Netflix defended it its initial offer, emphasizing its commitment to fair compensation practices while expressing readiness to address the legal challenge. T.J. Miller's once promising career has been marred by a series of controversies, ultimately impacting his involvement in major projects like Deadpool 3. Despite the success of the first two Deadpool films, which significantly boosted his net worth, Miller confirmed his exclusion from the third installment due to a fallout with Ryan Reynolds. Allegations surfaced of Reynolds belittling Miller, leading to irreconcilable tensions between the two actors. This rift with Reynolds, is just one instance in a string of controversies that have plagued Miller's career. His role as Ehrlich Bachman on HBO's Silicon Valley also ended tumultuously after four seasons, marked by clashes with the show's leadership, resulting in his character being written off. Miller publicly criticized the series and its creators, 
in subsequent interviews, further fueling the controversy. In December 2018, Miller faced legal trouble when he was arrested for making a fake bomb threat on an Amtrak train while intoxicated. This incident, stemming from a heated argument with a woman, added to his already tarnished reputation. Furthermore, Miller faced accusations of sexual assaults and violence from multiple women, including his Silicon Valley co-star, Alice Wetland, who publicly denounced him as a bully and a petulant brat on set. Given the multitude of controversies surrounding Miller, his future in the entertainment industry remains uncertain. While his talent may be undeniable, his troubled past and contentious behavior have undoubtedly affected his opportunities in Hollywood. Whether he can make a successful comeback or not remains to be seen. Kelly Osborne's journey has been shaped by the shadows of addiction that loomed over her family. Growing up in the shadow of her father's struggles with drugs and alcohol, Osborne found herself vulnerable to similar demons. Her battle with addiction intensified following a tonsillectomy, where she was prescribed painkillers. Quickly spiraling into dependency, Osborne sought out medication even after her prescription ran out, using it as a means to escape from her own self-loathing. Yet, Osborne's story is one of redemption and resilience. Confronting her demons head-on, she embarked on a journey of self-discovery and recovery. Through sheer determination, she turned her life around, emerging as a beacon of strength and inspiration. From her courageous stint as a contestant on Dancing with the Stars to her role as a host on Fashion Police, Osborne has reclaimed her place in the spotlight. Today, she stands as a testament to the transformative power of perseverance and self-love, serving as a role model for young women everywhere. Her journey serves as a reminder that no matter how dark the past may seem, there's always hope for a brighter future. Drew Barrymore's journey through Hollywood began at an incredibly young age, captivating audiences with her endearing performance as Gertie in E. T, the extraterrestrial. But behind the scenes, Barrymore was grappling with personal demons that threatened to overshadow her budding career. By the tender age of nine, she had already smoked her first cigarette, and by 13, she was ensnared in the grip of daily cocaine use. The pressures of fame and the weight of her struggles became unbearable, leading Barrymore to attempt suicide at just 14 years old. Yet, in the face of adversity, Barrymore found the strength to fight back. Admitted to rehab, she embarked on a journey of recovery, working tirelessly to reclaim her health and her life. With unwavering determination, she set out to rebuild her career and her efforts paid off. Barrymore's resilience shines through in her impressive body of work, which includes starring roles in Hollywood blockbusters like Charlie's Angels, Fifty First Dates, and He's Just Not That Into You. Today, she finds joy and fulfillment in her roles as a mother and a wife, a testament to her remarkable transformation. Demi Lovato's journey has been marked by significant challenges from a young age, battling self-harm, psychological issues, and struggles with self-image and self-worth. She turned to drugs and alcohol as a means of self-medication. In 2010, faced with a breakdown, Lovato made the courageous decision to seek help and entered rehab to address her issues head-on. Since then, she has committed herself to her recovery journey and emerged stronger than ever. Today, Lovato proudly declares herself to be the healthiest she's ever been. With a flourishing career in music and acting, she's become a beacon of hope and inspiration for young women everywhere. Through her openness about her struggles and her journey to wellness, Lovato has become a powerful role model, showing that it's possible to overcome adversity and thrive. Her resilience serves as a testament to the strength of the human spirit and the transformative power of seeking help and support.
Macaulay Culkin, once the beloved child star of the Home Alone movies, captured the hearts of audiences worldwide with his charm and wit. However, as he grew older, Culkin found himself ensnared by the pitfalls of fame and fell into a downward spiral of addiction to drugs and alcohol. During this troubled period, Culkin retreated from the spotlight, grappling with personal demons that left him unrecognizable to those who had once adored him. His struggles with substance abuse and the toll it took on his health were evident in his appearance, with photographs revealing a startlingly thin figure. Yet, in recent years, Culkin has embarked on a journey of redemption and recovery. With determination and resilience, he has reclaimed control of his life and looks healthier than ever. Alongside pursuing his passion for music with his band, Culkin is actively working towards a brighter future. While his past may be marked by darkness, Culkin's story serves as a testament to the power of resilience and the possibility of redemption. As he continues to rebuild his life, he stands as a beacon of hope for those grappling with their own struggles, proving that it's never too late to find healing and reclaim one's path to happiness. Paula Dean, the beloved former television personality known for her culinary expertise, faced a significant setback in her career due to accusations of racist behavior. Known for her roles in popular shows like Top Chef, Master Chef, Extreme Makeover, Home Edition, and starring in the 2005 film Elizabethtown, Paula found herself drawn into the argumentative. The trouble began when Lisa Jackson, former general manager of Paula's Savannah, Georgia restaurant, Uncle Bubba's Seafood and Oyster House, filed a lawsuit against her. Jackson claimed that Paula occasionally used racial slurs, including the N-word, in the presence of her employees. Additionally, P.I. Paula suggests having a Southern-themed wedding with black men playing the roles of slaves. In response, Paula admitted to using the N-word in the past, attributing it to the changing cultural landscape. She explained that her family objected to any hurtful association with the word and defended the slave wedding concept, citing inspiration from another restaurant and describing it as beautiful and impressive. However, the consequences were immediate. Food Network chose not to renew Paula's contract despite her releasing multiple apology videos. Damage control efforts, including an appearance on Dancing with the Stars a few years later, could not repair her tarnished public image. In 2015, Paula faced further backlash when she posted and then deleted a photo of her son with brown face, adding another layer to the controversy surrounding her. Paula's once illustrious career has suffered irreparable damage, as the public and industry stakeholders distanced themselves from her. Charlie Sheen, once one of the highest paid TV actors, pulling in a whopping $1.8 million per episode for Two and a Half Men, saw his career collapse due to addiction. His struggle with substance abuse and alcoholism dates back to the 90s, marked by incidents like cocaine overdoses and assault charges. A highly publicized history unfolded, featuring drug abuse troubles and controversies. Initially dealing with addiction, Sheen's life took a darker turn after his 2009 arrest. In 2010, Two and a Half Men production paused as Sheen entered rehab. Despite attempts at recovery, he was ultimately axed from the show in March 2011. His dangerously self-destructive behavior and negative comments about the show's creator, Chuck Lore, likely played a significant role in his dismissal. As for Sheen's current situation, Reports suggest he's been sober for over a year and is now involved in two television projects. Reflecting on his battle with addiction and his time on Two and a Half Men, Sheen admitted there were various ways to handle the situation, and he had chosen a less conventional path. In an interview, he took ownership of his role in the tumultuous events, confessing to the desperation and juvenility of his actions. Sheen attributed his behavior to the influence of drugs and their lingering effects coupled with a sea of stress and a volcano of disdain. The actor's post-meltdown journey, or melt forward as he calls it, shows a commitment to fully owning his past actions. Despite the challenges, 
His reported year of sobriety signals a positive step forward in his personal and professional life. However, it remains an open question whether that will be enough to get his career back on track. Kevin Spacey, whiny, a famous figure in Hollywood, found himself thrust into the center of controversy when accusations of sexual assault surfaced. His trial at Southwark Crown Court in London became a media spectacle, with his defense team arguing that Spacey should face widespread condemnation and a virtual trial, society. Quickly disappearing from the public eye, Spacey was quickly replaced in Ridley Scott's All the Money in the World, with Christopher Plummer reprising his scenes as billionaire John Paul Getty. Furthermore, he was also dropped from his Golden Globe-winning role in the popular Netflix series House of Cards. The charges against Spacey cost him and his production companies a staggering $31 million to cover losses incurred as a result of his firing. Although separate criminal charges in Los Angeles and Massachusetts were dropped in 2018 and 2019, respectively, Spacey still faces another civil trial in New York in 2022. In a recent development, British juries cleared him of all criminal charges related to the allegations of four men alleging sexual assault between 2001 and 2013. The court was learned that one man's allegations were deemed unfounded, with Spacey's involvement in a consensual meeting with two others. Despite admitting that he acted ill-advisedly towards the fourth individual, Spacey maintained that the situation did not escalate further. James Franco virtually disappeared from the film industry after a series of sexual assault allegations rocked his career. Even his longtime collaborator Seth Rogen distanced himself from Franco amidst the controversy. Rogen, known for co-starring with Franco in hit films like Pineapple Express, This Is The End, and the interview made it clear that he hasn't been in contact with Franco and doesn't plan to be. Franco's troubles began in 2014 when he faced criticism for taking a selfie with a 17-year-old girl outside a theater during his Broadway performance in Of Mice and Men. Afterward, he privately messaged her on Instagram, suggesting they meet at a hotel. While Franco admitted to the messages, he defended his actions on Howard Stern's show, stating he was merely being friendly. In 2018, more allegations surfaced after Franco won a Golden Globe for The Disaster Artist. Actress ally Sheedy, who previously worked with him, posted tweets hinting at Franco's involvement in sexual harassment. Other women, including Violet Paley and Sarah Tither Kaplan, came forward with accusations of sexual misconduct. As a result, Franco faced legal battles and was dropped from various Hollywood projects. Despite settling some lawsuits and maintaining his innocence, the damage to his career was significant. Rogan, in emissanding his stance against abuse, distanced himself from Franco, acknowledging the impact these allegations had on their professional relationship. Roseanne Barr's career serves as a cautionary tale in the age of social media, where a single tweet can swiftly dismantle years of success. A BC's decision to cancel her sitcom Roseanne following a racist tweet targeting Valerie Jarrett showcased the network's zero-tolerance policy for offensive behavior. Despite Barr's attempt to attribute her actions to the sedative Ambien, the backlash was relentless. Channing Dungey, EA, BC's entertainment president, wasted no time in condemning Barr's tweet as offensive and inconsistent with the network's values. This swift action, despite the show's significant financial success, underscored the importance of accountability in the public eye. Barr's downfall was further exacerbated by criticism from her own colleagues, including Sarah Gilbert, who publicly denounced her remarks. 
The incident not only led to the show's cancellation, but also had personal repercussions for Barr, highlighting the far-reaching impact of social media missteps. In today's digital age, where public figures are under constant scrutiny, Barr's experience serves as a stark reminder of the power and consequences of irresponsible social media behavior. Britney Spears skyrocketed to fame as a Disney Channel Mouseketeer before unleashing her iconic hit single baby one more time, propelling her to global stardom. Yet, amid the glitz and glamour, Spears found herself grappling with the pressures of superstardom, leading to a turbulent period in the early 2000s as, struggling under the weight of immense fame at a tender age, Spears faced personal challenges that manifested in erratic behavior. Concerned for her well-being, her family intervened, prompting Spears to seek help in rehab for substance abuse and endure a harrowing psychiatric breakdown. In a public spectacle, she famously shaved her head, a symbolic gesture of her tumultuous state of mind. With her personal and financial affairs spiraling out of control, Spears' family stepped in to assume responsibility for her finances. Yet, through the darkness, Spears found resilience and redemption. With the support of loved ones and professional help, she embarked on a journey of healing and recovery. Emerging from the shadows, Spears made a triumphant comeback, reclaiming her rightful place in the spotlight. After achieving the fame, fortune, and recognition he'd always dreamed of, Kid Cutie's life took a dark turn. Arrested for possession of various drugs, including marijuana and liquid cocaine, he found himself teetering on the edge of self-destruction. His drug abuse even brought him perilously close to losing his life on multiple occasions. However, these harrowing experiences served as a wake-up call for Kid Cutie. Recognizing the need for change, he took decisive action and checked into rehab. There, he confronted his demons head-on and emerged with a renewed sense of purpose. In 2011, Kid Cutie publicly declared that drugs were no longer a part of his life, signaling a fresh start as a new person. To commemorate this transformation, he got tattoos on his wrists, symbolizing the changes he had made and the journey he had undertaken. Kid Cutie's story is a powerful testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the capacity for redemption. Through perseverance and determination, he was able to overcome his struggles and emerge stronger on the other side. Today, he serves as an inspiration to others facing similar challenges, proving that it's never too late to turn your life around.